Hi guys, welcome to the Tech Grand. So today we'll solve the minimum sum path problem. Do share and like the video, subscribe to the channel to get further update. And if you want to start with the data structure, so I have a tutorial for that data structure for beginner. Check that out. The link is there in the description. Okay, so here we are given an M cross N matrix and they contain basically non-zero numbers, non-negative numbers and we need to find a path from the top left to bottom right so that the sum of the number in the path is minimum okay and it is given that we can only go down or right so let me just uh, explain the problem a bit and then we can deep dive into the solution so here it says that we have a matrix suppose the matrix is something like this and uh, we have four we have two and we have one okay so we need to start from here which is the top left and we need to reach here which is the bottom right and the path that we can take is we can either go right or we can go down that is how we can traverse in this array so we cannot go diagonal and uh, we cannot jump places so we can just go like this when we come to the end and then come down here so this is one path otherwise we can start from here go all the way down and then go right or we can go right then down then right then down something like that so all these are the path and we need to find the path which will have the smallest sum of all the number so let me tell you how i approach this problem and uh, believe it or not i was able to get it in the first go uh, the algorithm that i am going to use so what i did was uh, since we need to get the minimum sum so first I got the sum of all the edge numbers like the edge row the 0th row and the 0th column so I just wrote it down in a plain piece of paper something like this so this is the sum of the first row so it is 1 then 3 plus 1 4 and then 3 plus 1 plus 1 5 and then we when we go down so here we have 2 and then here we have 6 <coughs> so when you write this down then you know that if you have to take the path through the first row you need to get the sum of all the elements till the last one and same thing goes for down when you have to take uh, or when you have to take a path which will contain this first column so it will you have to get the sum of all the number in that particular column now next what if you need to take a path where you have something like this you go right and then go down and go right or from here also go down and then take a right so idea is we need to get the value of this particular position so let us say this is the value i comma j so we need to find the value of this particular position so to get the value of this particular position or to reach this position I can reach either from top so I would have come till here and come down or I would have come down and then took a right here so to reach this point either I can come from top or I can come from left so these are the two paths for any ij combination suppose this ij is not here this is somewhere here so I will say i1 or let that ij be here so i will say this as i1 and j1 so to reach i1 j1 i can either come from top which is 5 or come from left which is i comma j so that is the path that i will take uh, to reach all these points so because it says clearly that you can either go down or right so for to reach i comma j uh, how can i derive the value of i comma j so currently the value of i comma j is 5 now to reach this position 5 the minimum sum that it will take is I can either come from the, from top so when I come from top since I have pre-calculated this sum as 4 so it means that to reach this point on top the sum that will that I will take is it will be 4 if I come from left so the sum that will uh, come into picture will be 2 so the minimum sum that will happen to reach this point will be 5 plus the minimum of these two so in this case the minimum is 2 so the minimum sum to reach this path is 7 right 
so i can come basically from this path i will come down and then i will take a right something like this now for this particular position if i go if i take this position so again i can come from top or i can come from the left hand side so this position value initially is 1 so the minimum sum path for this will be 1 plus the minimum of this and this so it will be 1 plus 5 so it means 6 so what is the path to reach this point so it will be i come all the way to right and then come down so that is how the logic will work so basically the initially we will start from the first row and first column we will populate those with the sum if i have to take the sum of all the elements that is previous to them or on top of them and for each element here inside that it says here it's a grid so grid of i comma j is uh, equal to whatever value of that grid and then grid of the above row which is i minus 1 and that same this or it will be grid of the previous column so i and j minus 1 so it will be minimum of these two whatever is the minimum of these two i will pick that value so here to reach this i picked up this value to reach here i picked up this value so this was one row above so this is the formula that we are going to apply and uh, yeah let us try to code for this so i will say int m is the number of rows so m is equals to <coughs> grid dot length and uh, if m equal equal to 0 then we will say return 0 because I don't have anything or any sum to return so minimum path sum will be 0 then I have int n which is equals to grid of 0 dot length so so this means that the number of rows this means the number of column okay so first we will first what we'll do is first we will get the sum of the row so for this i will say that okay for int i equal to 0 or i will start from 1 because the first sum will be equal to uh, that number itself so the sum actually starts from the first element so it will be i less than m i plus plus and uh, the grid value for this will be so this value will be 0 that uh, 0 is value and i minus 1 ok so this will be actually I will not go till m I will go till n because I need to traverse the column ok so this is equals to uh, whatever sum it contains and sum of the previous value or sum of the previous column so this will be um, really sorry this will be i so ith value will be the itself value and sum of the self value and the previous uh, previous cell value so this will be 0 and i minus 1 i am i hope i am clear here and same thing goes for the this first column so for that int i is equals to 1 so I, again i will start from this particular column and this will be less than m here i plus plus and grid of in this case the grid will be the ith row and 0th column because which is the first column and this is equals to grid of the i minus 1 which is the previous row and same column which is the 0th column so that is how we will populate this row and then the first column that we have now we need to populate the uh, other columns or other part of this particular grid to get the shortest path so we will apply this formula here so we will say for int i equal to 1 i less than m i plus plus and for the columns j equal to 1 j less than n and j plus plus and the value of the grid which is i comma j 
so this value will be its current value plus minimum value of these so it will be minimum of the previous row and the previous column value okay so this this will be the value and finally when i reach the end element <coughs> it should have the minimum value so i will return that so i will return the last cell which is the bottom most cell so that will be grid of m minus 1 and n minus 1 okay so i think this should be it let us uh, run it so it seems okay we'll submit it and yes it is accepted so that is how you will find the some minimum path sum and uh, the approach for this will be you try out some of the uh, input that has been given to you try to write it on a piece of paper or uh, maybe on the screen that is there so you try to make the sum and all and that way you will be able to come up with uh, some pattern that will help you identify the algorithm so that is what i did for the solution and i came up with this so thanks for watching the video see you in the next one bye